Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IH. I want to spend just a minute today walking through vacuum control when running the Isobus solution on a 2000 series early riser planner and a Pro 1200 display. Let's walk through the two areas where we can adjust vacuum and look at the feedback metrics to ensure that those changes were the correct change. So first, let's look at making that change on the universal terminal side of the Pro 1200 display. So we've selected that, we've gone to run one, and we are see our vacuum control. So we've already started our systems up. We've got our vacuum control set at 18 inches of vacuum. If we wanna make those adjustments inside of the universal terminal, it's very simply done by hitting the plus or minus button to increase or decrease that vacuum rate. Now that step size is adjustable. So you'll see the step indicator button listed below and I can then change that step size to really any increment to make that a fine adjustment or a very large adjustment. So we'll leave that at one inch of water column. Below that, you'll see an alarm percentage. So that's based off of that default rate. If it falls within, as we've got it set here, 15% of that default rate, you will get an audible alarm in the cab indicating that we've got a rate issue with the vacuum. Our default rate is also gonna be listed there as, de as defined in our work condition setting. All right, so that's one area we can make those changes. You'll also notice that I've got SA behind that or speed adjusted so that as I hit six miles an hour, that speed adjusted vacuum will automatically take over and increase that vacuum as I increase my ground speed. All right, so I noted there's a second place to change that vacuum uh, level. And that can be done as a user-defined window on the Pro 1200 display. So I've got it set up over on my Plant 1 screen that I've named Plant 1. And I've got the setting window, and I've also got the target window or the feedback window telling me uh, what it's actually running at. It's a very similar operating procedure as it was in the Universal Terminal screen. I would touch that window I would touch that window, that would bring up that keypad and I could make those changes. If I would change maybe seed, for example, to a different size. Now I wanna look at that feedback and determine that was the right change to make. So let's go look at our seed graph and see that we've got now a very detailed row by row level and I can drill down in this particular case to row three and see that those skips or either uh, in, in an easy to understand format, in a green, we're acceptable. Yellow, we need to investigate something, maybe make a vacuum change. Or red, we've got to really make some kind of change to, to make sure that that metric is acceptable to the operator. So that was walking through vacuum changes on the Pro 1200 display, pulling an early riser, 2000 series planner, running the ISOBUS solution. For further information, Visit your local Case IH dealer or refer to your operator's manual.